You want to keep these? No, I don't even, that doesn't look like it tastes very good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So it's not the rodents and the crap and the urine, but. Hi guys, Corey Chalmers here from Hoarders. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some behind the scenes look at the episode you saw this week with John that Dr. Zazio and I worked with. This is the first step. Okay, we're gonna learn a little bit about your mindset right now. Throughout this shoot, it was kind of a roller coaster. He would have some good times and some bad times making decisions. Take all the, throw all the plastic ones. Okay. It started out in the beginning where he was just kind of letting everything go without putting a lot of thought into it. What about this table? We know from working with hoarders, if they detach from this process. Throw it, throw it, just throw it. That remorse the next day or down the road is gonna be real great. Did you take this stuff out of the trash? Sometimes the viewers and the hoarders get frustrated with us because they're like, what's wrong with you? You said you wanted me to let go of stuff. Now I'm letting go of everything and now you're telling me to slow down. So what we look for when we're working with a hoarder. What do you need the motor for? Because I'm going to put it on another boat, maybe. Is we do want to see some pain, and we do want to see some emotion, because there's a reason all this stuff is in their house. Do you have money to buy a boat? No. And if we see that they're just easily letting it all go, something's wrong. If they're struggling and not letting anything go, something's wrong. All right. Well, if you want to keep it, we'll keep it. So we want to find that balance right in between where we see them thinking through the process, thinking through that item, and making a good decision on why it should stay or should go. Do you truly want to keep food that's 40 years old? It's probably better than no food at all. We also had a huge struggle with food. Literally the oldest food that I've ever seen in a home where a hoarder wanted to keep it. Well, I've read up on this stuff and it will usually last a lot longer than it says. Okay. 42 years longer than it says. It was packaged and stuff, but still, you're talking about really old food. So when we some we see someone that isn't really comprehending that that could be dangerous, that's a real, a real concern for us. At least accept there's a possibility that it might make you sick, even if you don't 100% believe it. And it's a concern not only for now, but moving forward with what kind of decisions are they really gonna make after we're not even there. Okay. One of the largest problems that we had with John's house during and after the cleanup was the amount of rodents he had in there. Some of the pictures you're seeing right now are photos that I took um, throughout John's house showing the extent of the rodent damage. They had literally chewed through a lot of the walls. They had just destroyed so many parts of this home by eating through everything, even covered doors, uh, which, is, which is rare, but it shows the, the amount of time that these rodents were living in there. At one point in the show, he told us he had only really seen rodents in the house for about a year. However, from the amount of damage that we saw throughout this house, those rodents have been living in there for absolutely a lot longer than that. Looks like they've even chewed it to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe five years, 10 years, but that caused a lot of damage to his home in the meantime. This is probably uh, the most major infestation I've ever seen in my 10 years uh, in the pest control industry. Sometimes what you don't see underneath is just being destroyed. And that could be furniture, valuables, important paperwork. So it's really important that the hoarder recognizes as soon as they see one rodent, they must assume that there's dozens more that they can't even see. Thank you for watching, you guys. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.